Welcome to 189 Media, where we just don't give a shit. Today we will be reviewing the fourth issue of Godzilla, in hell, and I am delighted to report, this issue is perfect. So far, this is my second favorite issue in the series right behind issue number two. What makes this issue so good, is how it uses images to tell the story, rather than be hindered by the lack of text. This issue embraces the limitation of telling a story from the perspective of only Godzilla, working to wholeheartedly draw you into Godzilla's personal hell. And oh boy, does this issue do just that, as you will see. Needless to say, the strength of this comic are the visuals, both because they look amazing, and because they are the only narrative in the comic. I have so much more to discuss but let us do a quick summary of the comic first. The comic opens with a triumphant but battle-scarred Godzilla standing victoriously over the lifeless bodies of Destroyer and King Ghidorah. The artist uses the Godzilla from Godzilla GMK and he looks magnificent. Pupil less eyes and all. Anyway, right when Godzilla starts to march on from the battlegrounds, we see King Ghidorah's scars heal right before his eye opens, and Destroyer's frontal horn regenerates before he awakens from death's slumber. Godzilla knows something is not right, as both of his most powerful foes are ready to continue the battle and battle, they do, just look at this panel, you can see the intensity of each of the monsters respective energy blast, it is just beautiful, and the battle rages on in epic fashion, destroyer sends Godzilla crashing down with an aerial attack, and just as Godzilla begins to recover, he is stalked by King Ghidorah, accompanied by not only destroyer, but destroyer's earlier forms, King Ghidorah isn't playing around, and Godzilla is more than game, but unfortunately, King Ghidorah gets the best of our favorite atomic monster, as Ghidorah propels into the air and drops Godzilla, impaling him. But, strangely enough, Godzilla simply walks off this fatal injury, and notices something else isn't right. A giant wall seems to be surrounding this city. Godzilla goes to work blasting the wall and fending off Destroyer in the process, before going back to blasting the wall. With no luck, the wall seemingly regenerates rapidly, as a distracted Godzilla gets decapitated by Destroyer, but Godzilla's head grows back. Now check out this series of panels. We get to see Godzilla, from the point of view of an attacking Ghidorah. Damn I love this issue, and the artwork, and here it is. A two-page spread, using the panel placement of the comic itself, to describe what is going on. An endless circle of life and death. Battle and victory. Battle and loss. Repeating over and over again. Never ending. Using Godzilla's love of fighting. His love of battle. As a means to torture him. Giving him a war without conclusion. Days. Years. Decades. Possibly centuries of nothing but battle. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Welcome to hell, an endless foreverness of torment and torture, and even Godzilla is not immune to it. Godzilla is killed, yet again, and as he hopelessly lies down watching his legendary foes bicker with each other before they will be used, yet again, as pawns in a hell, tailor made for Godzilla, our tragic hero gets an idea, and sets to work on destroying the wall. Destroyer and Ghidorah swoop in an attack, but after a second of absorbing the attacks, Godzilla ducks his head and uses the energy blasts from his enemies to finally blast a hole into the wall. In the distance Ghidorah and Destroyer fade away, and Godzilla relishes his hard-earned victory, as everything fades away, including Godzilla. Damn. Just damn. What can I say? This comic is fantastic. It lives up to the hype of what you would expect from a battle between these three monsters. The artwork is unparalleled, with an attention to detail unmatched among the issues released thus far. The coloring is masterfully done, the story simplistic yet complexly minimalistic, and adds gravitas to the series and helps solidify Godzilla's hero journey through hell itself. I cannot say enough about this comic. This is quite possibly the greatest Godzilla battle ever documented on paper. My final score for this issue is 11 out of 10. Go out and buy this issue. You will not be sorry. I hope they release a graphic novel version of all 5 issues but only if the fifth and final issue is any good. Speaking of which, here is the cover to it, and the variant cover. The Godzilla in the variant cover looks like a cross between Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla 1954. I like it, 
but this cover gives us a better idea about the art we will see in the final issue. The synopsis for the fifth issue of Godzilla in Hell reads as follows. Will Godzilla be able to find his way back to the living world? An unstoppable force unlike any he has seen bars his way. So I'm guessing Godzilla will do battle with Satan himself. Or maybe even Cat or Lou. Who knows? Anyway, this has been 189 Media, and this concludes our broadcast day. Over and out.